try to explore together the themes of Holy Week. And these may be very unfamiliar to you, and that's fine, because these are part history, part tradition, part present experience. I'm going to start at the very beginning with a day called Palm Sunday. In a sense, it speaks for itself, except we don't have too many palms around here, except if you go along the front at South End on Sea. But Palm Sunday is a day at the beginning of the week, the last week of Jesus' life. The day before, by tradition, he's raised his friend Lazarus from the dead. And that's taken as a really exciting sign that something extraordinary is going on. Even the dead can be raised. But on Palm Sunday, from a little village outside Jerusalem, Jesus does something really, really odd. He gets to Jerusalem, and then on a donkey, he rides through the streets. Now, we may think that's kind of a circus trick or faintly interesting, but actually, for the people who saw that, they'd know that this was a reference right back to a book of the Old Testament, where, where a man called Zechariah says, look, your king is coming to you. And they're thinking, what, as a great warrior, as a great lord? No, your king is coming, you, coming to you humble and riding on a donkey. The point is that people in that time were not meant to ride on donkeys, especially respectable Jewish teachers. They were beasts of burden, not things you rode on. So the idea of a king, Jesus the king, riding on a donkey, I know it's a theme of many children's religious hymns, but it's kind of, this is ridiculous. This shouldn't be happening. This is deeply, deeply shocking. And what Jesus is saying through that is, yes, I am the king. I am God's Messiah. I am coming to save you. But I'm very different from what you were expecting. I'm not some mighty military authority. I'm not going to throw out the Romans. Actually, what I'm looking for is a revolution of the heart, and that will change the world forever. 